Where's my app? Inquisitor. To work? Let us begin. Your worship, for what it's worth, welcome to the Storm Coast. I would have sent word sooner, but our efforts have been... delayed. How so? There's a group of bandits operating in the area. They know the terrain, and our small party has had trouble going up against them. Some of our soldiers went to speak with their leader. Haven't heard back, though. I'll do what I can to find our people. Thank you, your worship. That's a relief. The soldiers didn't have an exact location for the bandits, but they were starting their search farther down the beach. With all this fuss, we haven't been able to conduct a proper search for the Wardens either. Well, good luck, and enjoy the sea air. I hear it's good for the soul.
Stand down. Prim, how'd we do? Five or six wounded, Chief. No dead. That's what I like to hear. Let the throat cutters finish up, then break out the casks. Inquisitor, glad you could make it. Come on, have a seat. Drinks will be here in a minute. Iron Bull, I presume. Yeah, the horns usually give it away. I assume you remember Chromisius Aklasi, my lieutenant. Good to see you again. Throat cutters are done, Chief. Already? Have them check again. I don't want any of those Tevinter bastards getting away. No offense, Krem. <laughs> None taken. At least a bastard knows who his mother was. Puts him one up on you, Canari, right? So, you've seen us fight. We're expensive, but we're worth it. <laughs> and I'm sure the Inquisition can afford us. The Chargers seem like an excellent company. They are. But you're not just getting the boys. You're getting me. You need a frontline bodyguard. I'm your man. Whatever it is, demons, dragons, the bigger the better. And there's one other thing, might be useful, might piss you off. Ever hear of the Ben Hasra? They're a Kunari organization, right? The equivalent of their guards and city watch. I'd go closer to spies, but yeah, that's them. Or, well, us. The Ben Hasra are concerned about the Venatori. The venture's bad enough without some crazy cult making it worse. I've been ordered to join the Inquisition, get close to you, and send reports on what's happening. But I also get reports from Ben Hasworth agents all over Orle. You sign me on, I'll share them with your people. You're a Kunari spy, and you just told me. Heard a lot of stories about Haven. No idea which ones are true. But I get that this Corypheus guy needs killing. So whatever I am, I'm on your side. You still could have hidden what you are. From something called the Inquisition? <laughs> I'd have been tipped sooner or later. Better you hear it right up front from me. What would you send home in these reports of yours? Enough to keep my superiors happy. Nothing that'll compromise your operations. The Canari want to know if they need to launch an invasion to stop the whole damn world from falling apart. You let me send word of what you're doing, it'll put some minds at ease. That's good for everyone. What's in these Ben Hasrath reports you're offering to share? Enemy movements, suspicious activity, intriguing gossip. It's a bit of everything. Alone they're not much, but if your spy master is worth a damn, she'll put him to good use. She? <laughs> I did a little research. Plus, I've always had a weakness for redheads. All right, you're in. Glad to hear it, boss. Krem, tell the men to finish drinking on the road. The Chargers just got hired. What about the casks, Chief? We just opened them up with axes. Find some way to seal them. You're Tervinter, right? Try blood magic. We'll meet you back at Skyhold.
Inquisitor. That's got a good ring to it. We're happy to be here, Your Worship. You need anything, let me know. Iron Bull said the charges were at my disposal. Do you have any suggestions on how to use them? I suspect Haven's quiet by now. Might be worth sending the boys back. We could recover some supplies, get an idea about the enemy's strength. We could even pick up any stragglers who haven't found Skyhold yet. I'd like to know more about the Iron Bull. The Chief. Last time I met him, he saved my life. I never thought I'd work for a Canary, but he grows on you. He's not like any commander I've ever worked for. That's for damn sure. How did a Tavinta soldier wind up in a Canary spy's mercenary company? I wasn't a soldier at the time. I was in some trouble trying to flee Tavinta. A Tribune and his men caught me in a border town tavern. They meant to make an example of me. Well, killed them. Gave up his eye doing it. Patched me up and asked if I was looking for work. I've been putting up with his jokes ever since. Is it strange to work for Kunari? He hasn't tried to convert us to the Kune, if that's what you're asking. The Bull's charges don't care who you light a candle for, so long as your shield stays up. If he hadn't told me he was Ben Hasroth, I'd have thought he left that life behind. I didn't expect he'd tell you all that he was a spy. Not the whole band, but those who've been around long enough to trust. He figures most of us would find out sooner or later, and it should come from him. Eyes to eye, he says. It's never messed up a job. He just writes letters back home. Lots of the boys write letters back home. How's Iron Bull as a commander? If you know what you're doing and hold up your end, he's easy. He doesn't accept any less. If he keeps us alive, he leads from the front, and if you've an idea that'll win the fight, he listens. I've seen bands whose captains had to prove they were swinging the biggest sword. Well, isn't like that. The charges might give him more lip than you'd expect, but every one of us would lay down our lives for the big ass. We'll talk later. Your Worship? Can you think of any other tasks suitable? Nothing jumps out at me. If I come up with any... Can we talk about the Bull's charges? Best company you'll find from here to the Anderfells. In my time with the Chief, we've gone up against everything from bandits to magic trees. We're expensive, but you'll never doubt we're worth it. Want to know anything in particular? You said something about everything from bandits to magic trees. I'll admit to some curiosity. Right. Sylvans. That's what Dalish called them. Apparently spirits can possess trees, too. Some noble in the Dales, and they really don't like it when you call them Dalish nobles, had a haunted forest. His family had abandoned the land, but he wanted it back. The chief bought us all axes, and in we went. Between the axes and the torches, the Sylvans weren't too bad. The worst part was the squirrels. Do the Chargers specialize in anything from a tactical standpoint? Bull doesn't want us large enough to work as an army. We're better as shock troops or skirmishers. We've got archers for hitting enemy infantry, Dalish with more archery, and Skinner and her people on the flanks. Rocky handles fortifications and traps, and Stitches keeps us all fighting. They mostly hold back. I'll lead the frontline fighters with Grimm, and the Chief goes wherever he can hit something. Are there rules for how mercenaries operate? If you don't want some noble to treat you like bandits, yes. There's also a code of conduct most companies hold to. Keeps things civilized on the battlefield. We accept surrenders for ransom from mercenaries, nobles, and soldiers wearing a lord's colors. Our prisoners are treated well, injuries tended. We'd want the same for any of ours who got captured. We'll talk later. Your Worship? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? I had one noble whose rival had been told by a fortune teller that her death would come on feathered wings. The noble sent us after the rival. Not assassination, legal and everything, but we had to wear feathers. We sewed them into shirts over our armor. You should have seen the chief all feathered up like the cock of the walk. Ended up retreating after all that. The rival choked to death a year later on a chicken bone. We'll talk later. Inquisitor? Can we Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? Ah, there was the time with the spiders. Big old beast had taken over some Navarran lady's winter estate. With a full season to lay eggs. Hanging from the chandelier, scuttling over the tapestries, webbing up the baths. I don't really have a story about it. It's just a lot of spiders. We'll talk later. Your Worship? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any other interesting jobs? 
This old Asian guy paid us to clear out some bandits who'd taken over his mine. We got in, took down most of them, and had just reached their leader when the mine collapsed around us. Turns out the bandits were working for the Elysian guy, and he wanted to cover up their agreement. The bandits passed around shovels. We all got to digging. Tracked a lot of dirt into that Elysian's bedroom. We'll talk later. Your worship? Can we talk? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had any? We went up against Gatlas giants in Ferelden. Not actual giants, but big guys, all wearing a dragon's weight and armor. Might as well be fighting golems. The chief challenged Gatler himself to a single combat. Gatler laughed and called him a horned savage. The chief broke a dam and flooded the valley. Last we saw of Gatler was a bunch of bubbles as we swam away. We'll talk later. Your worship? Can we talk about the bull's charges? Certainly. What can I tell you? Have you had a... We had these villagers pay us with rice one time. <laughs> Should have seen the chief's face. Him and me and five guys defending the town from 50 bandits, and they pay us in bags of rice. Chief always took money up front after that. He also learned how to make this rice pudding dessert. It looks awful, but it's pretty good. We'll talk later. Your worship? Can you think of any... Nothing jumps out at me. I come up with any... The funniest thing I've seen in years. That cat dancing around, hopping and pouncing like a fool. Made my day bright, it did. Maker knows what got into the little rat catcher. A breath caught smile from the enchanter as the candle lights. The walls are safe. She will never be hungry again. So, Cole. Can I assume you're responsible for the turnips that have shown up in the fireplaces? They don't smell the same, Raw. All right. So, Cole. So. Spiders need to eat. All right. So, Cole. Someone. Mice like. Do mice also like bowl? That was for the cats. So the cheese lures the mice, and the mice lure the cats, and then they smell the mint. Mint makes the cats dance and play. I'll talk. So, that Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Ugh. Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. And you're a mage, so that's saying something. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. I'd like to know more about your work with the Ben Hasrath. Ben Hasrath is actually a general term. You've got the secret police who investigate problems inside our territory. You've got the re-educators who take people with problems and fix their minds. Or make them disappear. And then you've got the spies. How do the re-educators work? Well, I only know the basics. Wasn't my area. That said, keep a man awake long enough. Ask the right questions, give the right potions, and you can get him to say anything. You don't need blood magic or demons to change someone's mind. We're a lot more fragile than we'd like to believe. You can alter someone's beliefs that easily. One of my friends was a re-educator. He said that every memory is like the page of a book. When you examine a memory, you're turning to that page, and when you're there, the page is laid bare. Write a few notes in the margins of the page, erase a word here and there, and your whole outlook changes. Always felt a little weird reading after that conversation. The re-educators sound horrible. Yeah, 
They probably do. Here's the thing, though. What happens in Orlais when you commit a crime or betray a lord? They just lop your head off. At least the Canari try to fix you. None of those sound exactly like you. Yeah, I was a special case. They sent me to Saharan because they needed someone who could fight and hunt down problems. That whole island was a sack of cats. Incursions from Tevinta, Talvashath, and native rebels fighting both sides. And in the middle, me. Trying to wrangle the rebels and restore order. I can't imagine that was easy. Nope. I hunted down a lot of rebels, lost a lot of friends to the Vince, or the Fog Warriors, or the Talvashar. One day I woke up and couldn't think of a damned reason to keep doing my job. Turned myself into the re-educators. You'd heard what the re-educators did to their prisoners? Yes, I had. I wanted them to fix me like they fixed them. The Ben Hasarth ordered me to go to Orlay, ostensibly as a Talvashar work undercover. That's how I ended up here. That's a... damn. You did ask. Anyway, nice talking with you. Hey, boss. I'd like to know more about the Kunari. You writing a book? What I've heard about them sounds fascinating. What you've heard was mostly horse shit. All right. What do you want to know? The word Kunari. Is that the race or the religion? Both. Kind of. The humans and elves who follow the Kune are the Vidathari. The Kunari who break away from the Kune are Talvasha. Deserters. What about Kunari who existed before the Kune? The people we came from. They're called the Kasseth, but we don't use that word for the race. We came south to Thetis because the Kasseth were... I don't know. We had to leave. The stories aren't clear. But I don't expect they look much like us. Whatever they are. What's it like growing up under the Kune? The Tamasrans raise us in these units of kids all our own age. They're like teachers or Chantry sisters. They also helped figure out what jobs we should do. They had me pegged for military work early on. When they learned I could hit stuff and lie, they started training me for the Ben Hasra. You never knew your parents? No. I know for you folks, that's a big deal. The Tamasrans were like our parents, though. Taught us to read, helped us go to sleep, all the parents' stuff. I remember the one who helped me build things with blocks. She laughed when I knocked everything down. Do you ever think about what would happen if the Kunari conquered Orlay or Ferelden? Some folks, like Cassandra or Cullen, would do fine if they didn't die fighting. Those two love rules. But the mages... Vivienne's too political. Dorian's too arrogant, and Solus is just... weird. They'd all end up dead. Or worse. They'd kill Cole, cause, you know, demon. And Sarah would end up with her mind broken, sweeping floors in some shop. So, to answer your question, no, I don't think about it much at all. How do the Kunari rule themselves? It's pretty simple. We've got the matriarchy, the priesthood, and the military. The priesthood figures out how Kunari should live in theory. The matriarchy makes it work in practice. And the military keeps the Kunari safe from outside threats. Does it actually work like that? Is there much infighting? <laughs> Not like you're thinking of. People disagree, yeah, but the priests are there to solve disagreements. Here in Olay, politicking comes from people putting their own gain ahead of the gains of society. If you do that among the Kanari, the Bin Hasrath set you straight. Or kill you. I heard there's no marriage among the Kunari. Yeah, that's true. Kanari love our friends like anyone does, but we don't have sex with them. Kanari don't have sex? <laughs> oh, we definitely have sex. Their Tamasrans will pop your cork whenever you need it. Seriously? Yes. It's not a big deal like it is here. It's like... I don't know. 
going to see a healer. Sometimes it's this long, involved thing. It takes all day, leaves you walking funny. Other times, you're in and out in five minutes. Thank you. See you next week. That sounds different. Yep. Still, it's more fun here. Fewer rituals, more making it up as you go along. Plus, you folk have redheads. <laughs> redheads. How is everyday life different for Kunari? Uh, depends on your job, I guess. Some are just about the same. A baker in Val Royo gets up, gets dressed, and starts work. A baker in Parvolin does the same thing. They don't care about the Empire or the cube. Mostly they worry about breaking eggs and hope the dough rises right. It can't be exactly the same. The Kunari have no personal freedoms. How many personal freedoms do you figure that Baker in Val Royo has? Life isn't about freedom. The Baker in Parvolin wonders if she'll be given enough eggs to do her work. Will they come on time? Will the kitchen workers get her bread while it's fresh, or will they come late and blame her because it's stale? Same crap in Val Royo. People are just people. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. How's it going? So how did you get the name Iron Bull? I picked it. We don't have names under the queue. Just... I don't know. Job descriptions, I guess. When I came to Orlay, I chose the Iron Bull for myself. Why specifically Iron Bull? This may surprise you, but I really like hitting things. Also, it's THE Iron Bull, technically. I like having an article at the front. It makes it sound like I'm not even a person, just a mindless weapon. An implement of destruction. That really works for me. See you later, Bull. Nice talking with you, boss. How's it going? What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, Mir Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. He doesn't talk much. Hey. So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. The Inquisitor isn't a god. He's just a man trying to do the right thing. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. I knew some of the soldiers felt like that, but to actually hear it... It's hard to be just an idea sometimes. That's all you are to most of them. It's why you could stand right in front of them without being recognized. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that, no matter what comes next. How's it going? See you. Nice.
Dodge Demon, they say. It wasn't. Deceit, maybe. You didn't see it. You had to hunt it. I'm here. Varric's friend Hawk said there were suspicions of corruption in Grey Warden ranks. Do you know anything about that? Corruption? What sort of corruption? Corypheus. He's been known to influence the minds of Wardens. That could very well explain why so many have disappeared. Are you feeling all right? No voices or anything? If I start hearing things, I promise you'll be the first to know. How much do you know about Corypheus? Not much. I always thought the stories of Magisters corrupting the Golden City were just that. Stories. I didn't expect them to be true, and I certainly didn't expect to find one of them still alive. Corypheus stopped being human a long time ago. Darkspawn don't have human lifespans, do they? No. I suppose they don't. They're unnatural and sustained by... evil. It's been thousands of years. You'd think the Wardens would have managed to kill the first Darkspawn by now. Don't the Grey Wardens know everything about Darkspawn? You don't have to know how a Darkspawn came to be in order to kill it with soldiers, not historians. And the world would be better off if people focused on defeating evil rather than explaining how it came to be. Do you know if there are more Darkspawn like Corypheus? I don't know. I'm not sure any Warden knows. Let's discuss something else. Nothing right now. Perhaps in a bit. Something on your mind? Let's talk about... Ah, the Wardens. I'm afraid... How do the Wardens deal with Archdemons? Short answer. Stick it with swords until it stops moving. Wardens are in all the stories. If it was that easy, anyone could do it. No, it really is that simple. Just because the Archdemon is magic doesn't mean it can't be killed with swords. It just... has to be a... Grey Warden sword. Look, it's not the killing blow that's the problem. It's getting the dragon to the point where it's vulnerable. Where it actually can be killed. There's no short answer for that, I'm afraid. Let's continue. Finally, a place for... the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. Another letter for Master Tethrus? And what else did Lady Forsythia say? That she'd rather drown herself than help the Inquisition. Anything else? She said she'd have us flogged alive if we allied with her brother. That does sound like her. Cheer up, Josie. We at least have her attention. You always do find the brighter side of things. We are in the midst of cementing an alliance with Lady Forsythia of Nevara, your worship. It's become a somewhat delicate task. Can I do anything to help negotiations? Uh, thank you, but I believe I have matters in hand. I dissuaded her from sending soldiers when she learned we'd struck an accord with a brother she's feuding with. Lady Forsythia simply employs a colorful manner of speech. You're rather good-natured about threats of death and dismemberment. They are chiefly bluster, Inquisitor. Most of them. But I confess I do miss my staff from the Embassy in Antifa. It was always useful to discuss the day's visitors with them. I have time, if you'd like to review things with me. I wouldn't wish to impose. If it were imposing, I wouldn't have offered. 
Well, I admit, there are a few potential alliances it would be good to discuss. Right on the parlor floor. In front of everyone at the soiree. Who does such a thing in front of their guests? The Duke of Kellington, apparently. And then there's calls lurking. It frightens our guests half to death. Lord Genar still won't respond to our letters. And Sarah, can she not find a single overshirt with that mustard taint on it? Then there's Dorian. The man refuses to take anything seriously unless it suits its whim. Not to mention... Oh, oh goodness. Have we been here an hour already? Is relaxing really this difficult for you? Of course not. Well, <laughs> occasionally. I didn't intend to go on for so long. You must think me quite the gossip. You've been working continually since I met you, Josephine. And that can't stop. I must be going. But I leave feeling less troubled than I have in weeks. If you require any assistance. It's a noble calling, the Knight Enchanter. You have joined the ranks of the most select mages. You should be commended. So few have the discipline necessary. I didn't realize you were a Knight Enchanter, Vivienne. Of course I am, darling. Knight Enchanters serve in the highest echelons of the Chantry and Circle. Where else would I be? I'm pleased you approve of my choice. You have your moments, my dear. I wanted to... Of course. What do you wish to... What is your evaluation of how we... Adequate. Based on a partial... Yeah. I'm told you have Alexius researching magic for you. Research is always what made him happiest. Perhaps I'll even go talk to him eventually. One word of advice. If he suggests altering time as a way to solve all your problems, give it a pass. I should go. You've joined a fellowship with a distinguished history. Night enchanters have long served the divine. I didn't choose this path to serve anyone. Where you go on the path is one thing, where it starts is another. These traditions were forged by the Chantry's most trusted mages. That cannot be denied. No matter, you have chosen well, and are in good company. I had friends who were night enchanters, who served at Justinia's side, who died with her. It's good to see new mages keeping this flame alive. Anything I should know? I have agents stationed by the ruins of Haven, should Corypheus or his lackeys return. So far, nothing, and the breach has been quiet for some time. But there's something, at least. I'll leave you to your work.
The new power you wield. I heard from Cassandra that it is the magic of the Night Enchanters. If I am not mistaken, the techniques descend from those of ancient elven mages called Arcane Warriors. I wonder what they would think to see their magic used in defense of the Chantry. I hope the ancient elven warriors would be pleased to see their techniques survive. I hope so as well. So much knowledge has been lost. Perhaps having something they created carried forward, even in such a different form, would gratify them. Did you need anything else? We'll talk later. Is this a bad time? I can come back. No, it's all right. Bills are really not that engrossing. I've been meaning to come talk to you anyhow. I never officially joined the Inquisition. I don't know how to do this uh, disciplehood thing. I'm a businessman. Never really followed the chosen one before. I don't need a disciple. I need a friend. If you knew how intimidating you are, you wouldn't make it sound so simple. You just don't know what you are to the people out there. The Herald of Andraste is a symbol bigger than any of us. So what exactly am I to the people out there? The sky tears open, demons everywhere. To ordinary folks, these are the end times. The only hope they have is you. You're the sign that somebody might hear their prayers. That maybe they're not abandoned after all. You heard the crowd singing after Haven was attacked? Please tell me you aren't going to burst into song now. Don't worry, I'm not that cruel. I should probably get back to work. Unless, uh, you up for a game of Wicked Grace? What can I do for you, Inquisitor? Carry on. Inquisitor? A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry Loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're unusually organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Will anyone even believe me if I claim I didn't kill the Divine? Perhaps if they learn about your heroics. We should emphasize how you stopped the breach devouring the sky. Even in Jader, it may win you a few admirers. What does the nobility gain by saying I murdered Justinia? A scapegoat to begin with, but I wonder if the Grand Clerics are at work. Those immediately eligible to be divine died at the Conclave. The ones remaining were not as favored. They may look upon you as a rival for influence. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. A pleasure. What are the people... We've gathered many favors among the nobility. They will be gently reminded of them. Any visiting... None in particular. It's good to see you. What... We've gathered many favors among the nobility. It's good to see you. Tell me about the Montilliers. Well, uh, my parents are alive and in good health. Uh, they live in our estate in Antiva City. Of my four siblings, most attend to the running of the family vineyards. Uh, that reminds me, I must ask someone to make sure Yvette attends the spring reception at the palace. My youngest sister has no head for social engagements. Why are you overseeing your siblings' social lives? It's Antivan custom. After a certain age, the heir apparent runs the family's estate to prove they're worthy of succession. 
If you're unfit for the task, the heads of the house, usually one's parents, may decree a new heir. What do these Antivan heads of the household do if they don't run it? They work and provide guidance. I've taken advice from my parents. Well, mostly mother. Father's more of an artist. It's rather gauche, but we never can dissuade him from running his own salons. Between him and my siblings, mother's looking forward to my taking over the estate. Can you run your family's business and be the Inquisition's ambassador? I won't let it interfere with the quality of my work for the Inquisition, I assure you. But managing the estate is my duty. As much work as it is, I will not shirk it. Is running your family's estate that important to you? I'm responsible for their welfare. A Montelier never shuns their familial duty. Taxing, as those duties can sometimes be. Maybe your siblings could help lighten your burden. You don't know them. But Lorien in charge, or Antoine, or Yvette? No, truly. It must be me. Where were you raised, Josephine? I was born in Antiva City. But when I turned 15, Mother declared I'd attend finishing school in Val Royo. Oh, but I bowled into her skirts the day I had to leave. Did they have to pry your fingers off the doorframe as well? Admittedly, I may have been a trifle sheltered. But my mother only wanted the best for me. Living in Orlais was an education in itself. What did you learn at this finishing school in Val Royale? Among other things, mathematics, rhetoric, poetry, history, logic, and a great deal of etiquette. I still remember Madame Beventir's switch on my knuckles when I forgot the basic tenets of Nevaran dining customs. For a dowager approaching her 80th year, she had quite the arm. How did the younger you like Val Royale when you arrived? Have you ever stepped into a new city and felt the buildings couldn't possibly be real? That was Val Royale to me. So beautifully foreign, I gaped at its spires for months. Does Antiva City have nothing that compares to Val Royale? Antiva City is a jewel among the capitals. <sighs> but I did not appreciate that before I traveled. There are multitudes of places I'd like to see. Seheran, the Anderfeld, whatever lies past the Amaranthine Ocean. Who rules Antiva? Officially, the Principality of Antiva is governed by His Majesty King Fugelno II. In reality, Antiva's merchant princes rule the country in everything but name. Quite loudly, I might add. What sort of dealings did you have with these merchant families? As ambassador, I attended Privy Council meetings in a mediatory capacity. May I just say, one has never heard an argument until they've sat in on 15 princes howling down each other's tariff suggestions. That sounds more like a mob than a meeting. It's all a part of life in Antiva. Our traditions value passion and romance. A certain exuberance of style. Are you positive you're Antivan? I can be most exuberant when it's called for. Just... At the right moments, and in a proper fashion. Might we speak of something else? What's the land like in Antiva? The setter areas are quite lush. The vineyards run as far as the eye can see in some places. Antiva City, however, perches right up against the Rialto Bay. That's what I miss most. The sea crashing against the maze of the docks. I have difficulty seeing you wandering round a trading port. Everyone in Antifa City spends time by the ships, my lord. The finest restaurants and poets all make their habitation by the sea. The waterfronts never still. Lanterns are lit along the promenade no matter what the weather. Are you ever homesick? Occasionally. 
When the breeze stirs the trees in the garden, I sometimes pretend it's the sound of the surf. <sighs> Do you know, I even miss those terrible squawking birds infesting the harbor. My youngest sister used to throw whole loaves of bread to the gulls. Silly thing. You said the Montilliers used to run an entire trading fleet. What happened? There was a scandal in Val Royale more than an age ago. The Montilliers were forbidden from trading with Orlais. Our personal fortunes never quite rebounded. Does anyone in Orlais even remember what that scandal was? I doubt it, but the injunction persists. What exactly happened? An affair with a minor lord. Perhaps. Most other details are lost. Are you saying your family's livelihood was ruined because of a love affair no one even remembers? Essentially. Our legion politics are full of these unhappy little missteps, Inquisitor. You haven't really gone into detail about how you know Liliana. We met... Oh, let me think. We met the last few years of my schooling, but we became friends after I became ambassador to Olay. It seems terrifyingly long ago now. How exactly did you and Leliana reconnect in the Inquisition? I discovered my family had been overcharging a merchant we traded with for months. Our name carries a great deal of trust in Antiva. I spent weeks arranging a string of favors as suitable recompense. Apparently satisfied, the merchant extended me an invitation to her estate. Leliana greeted me in place of the merchant. I assume the entire problem was some form of trial. You assume correctly. Leliana claimed she needed someone of painful integrity for the Inquisition. I accepted, once she finally explained what it was. Do you remain close? Yes, but she's grown so much more distant than the outgoing woman I met in Val Royale. Leliana used to wander the Orlesian courts, singing the sweetest songs, charming the greatest wits. Now she collects secrets, and takes risks that would make empires tremble. I worry, but she will not hear it. Does Leliana confide in you? If she enjoys revisiting our more disastrous adventures, Leliana used to concoct the most ridiculous plans. Run if you ever see her with a twine ball, a measuring stick, and a handkerchief. Let's speak later. Goodbye. does seem more secure than Haven. Only if we have the numbers to defend it. A place like this serves no purpose without enough people to make the running worthwhile. All right. At your service. Do you need something? That's enough. The 
soldiers make me nervous. Sitting around here, tempers get short, and fighting. I saw one soldier reach for his belt like he was going to draw a dagger on the man he was arguing with. I was lucky he'd lost his dagger, or there'd have been more than a bloody nose. Inquisitor, it was amazing. <clears throat> Sorry, slow down. Your quartermaster outfitted me, and I got trained to hunt the bandits near my home, in your name. I hired Voth here. Don't tell anyone. He's a, a mage. A good one, though. Thank you for trusting me, your worship. I'll pay you back, I swear. Good work. Keep with the training. We'll need every hand. Yes. Yes, your worship. We'll do just that. Won't we, Voth? He doesn't speak, but he's thankful too. the whole time, but she made him forget, so he could change. So, Cole. Someone found a barrel full of misplaced daggers. They were safer there. Safer than on someone's belt, where they could draw them in the heat of an argument. They would have been sad later. I'll talk to you. Inquisitor, 